Hey everyone, what's up? It's Lauren Carr with Just Vegan In, where in each episode we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle. And today I'm so excited because we are gonna be doing an Iceland vegan food haul. And I will also be sampling some of the food as well because I have this new line out called No Bull and I've really been wanting to try it, so I'm very excited about that. So I'll let you know my thoughts on it. And hey, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe because you do not wanna be missing out on this vegan goodness. All right, let's see what I got. Okay, so before I get started, I kind of want to give you a few fun facts about the store Iceland because it's really exciting. By 2023, they want to remove all plastic from all their own store brand items. And also, they are the first store in the UK, first supermarket, to remove all palm oil from all their own brand products. So really, this company is trying to do so much good for the environment, and I think it's so, I mean, we got to support that. So anyway. In saying that, I'm gonna show you what I got. So it does say it in the name, Iceland. We will be looking at a lot of frozen foods from there. So we're gonna start off with some frozen broccoli. And of course, we need some mixed vegetables. Now, I kind of wanna move on now to their vegan range called No Bulls. So I definitely got a few things from there and I will be telling you my thoughts on it. So here we go. Noble mince. Ooh, probably good to put in spaghetti or I would love that courgette pasta. So boom, boom, mix that in with a little tomato sauce. Delicious. So now we have some noble meatballs. Oh yeah, balls. I'm sorry, I'm like a 13 year old. And also I'm probably one of the only lesbians that thinks about balls so much. But to be fair, and I'm sure this is something a lot of you guys don't know, I am also a drag king, so I perform on stage dressed as a man. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about drag queens. I kind of am doing the opposite, looking like a guy. So I will definitely be getting into more about what that is in upcoming videos, so please stay tuned for that. But right now we're gonna enjoy these bowls. All right, so I just got back from working out, so sorry if I'm a little bit, a little bit scruffy, but I needed some lunch, so I'm trying the No Bull Meatballs with some broccoli, why not? Broccoli, also from Iceland. Let's give it a try. What? Uh, honestly, I do not know how they do it. it really tastes like the real thing. I am kind of at a loss for words. I am insanely impressed and I'm just gonna dig into this. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. No chick fillets. Cannot wait to give these a go. Oh. So that no chick, chicken filet, I thought was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. It had a nice consistency of chicken when biting into it. It was light. They lightly salted it, which I really enjoyed. And I don't know, for me, I'm someone, I don't need it to taste exactly like chicken. Like it reminded me of it. It had very good flavors. And that was enough for me because sometimes if it tastes too much like the real thing, it kind of grosses me out a little bit. So I would highly recommend it, really enjoyed it, and I will definitely be eating it again. We have the No Bull Burgers. So I'm gonna try this No Beef Burger and I have a little bit of salad. I just wasn't vibing the bun today. I have to admit though, even when I was grilling it, it was bleeding like a normal hamburger. So kind of, kind of crazy, kind of creepy, I guess also kind of cool. Um, oh, one thing, sorry if you hear a little noise outside. I think there's like construction going on. Anyway, oh, I'm digging in. This legit tastes like a normal hamburger, like if not even better, like a little bit tastier, lighter, because it's plant-based and not animal-based. I am, wow, insanely impressed with this. Definitely give this to your meat eater friends because I don't even think they would know the difference. All right, I mean, why harm animals when you could eat plant-based for something just as good, if not better, tastier? Ah! Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest. We have some No Turkey Christmas 
dinner. Now, I think this would probably go really well with if you want to make like stuffing or mashed potatoes, put some gravy on it, get some parsnips, maybe get some kale, mushrooms, just get a nice little kind of Christmas dinner to go with this. I will definitely be letting you know my thoughts on this now. So sorry if you hear a little noise in the background, it is my dishwasher. <clears throat> So I just had the vegan Christmas turkey dinner and I totally enjoyed it. I thought it was so insanely easy because I didn't realize this. It literally was a Christmas dinner in a bag because it came with wild mushrooms, kale, chestnuts, turkey protein, and a sage and onion gravy. So boom, throw it all in a pan heat it up and you're done. I mean, I love easy meals. Now, did the turkey totally taste like turkey? I would say no, but with all the flavorings and everything, it didn't bother me at all. It was really, it was light on my stomach, but it filled me for definitely a few hours. Anyway, I 100% enjoyed this, and I think it's great because sometimes when I go home and see my family, or even go to a friend's house, some of them might be meat eaters, so it's nice to literally have this thing in a bag I could bring, make for myself, and be happy. Some no chick strips. Okay, so I'm just about to go out, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on the no chick chicken strips. Oh my gosh, they looked like the real thing and tasted like the real thing. So any meat eater out there that's like doing veganuary or something like that, I think this would be the perfect thing for you and a great way to ease you into some really tasty vegan food. So I found this lovely apple crumble there, which I cannot wait, put it in the oven nice and warm, maybe put like a little bit of um, Ben and Jerry's vegan ice cream on top. Oh, oh so good. <laughs> anyway, clearly I'm excited for this. Now, obviously it does say it in the name, Iceland has a lot of frozen products, but they also have a lot of fresh produce. So let's look into some of that. I always gotta get me some avocados. Mm -mm -mm. I like it in guac, I like to put it in salads. Basically, I like to combine it with any and everything. Oh, avocados are so good. And I have to admit, I kind of already dove into these. These apples are so good. They're, oh, they're Cox apples. Guess that goes with my drag king theme. We like the Cox apples, bowls. Anyway, enough. Super, super delicious and really good some baby plum tomatoes. Perfect for a salad or to mix into a tomato sauce. Delicious, good, or I just like to take them and boom, dip it into hummus as a nice little snack. Crunchy salad, mm-mm-mm. And of course we have some bread. Little, little toast, good way to start the morning. You could put a little avocado on it, or sometimes I put just like a vegan butter or peanut butter or almond butter, cashew butter, any kind of butter. As long as it's vegan, I will put it on there. Ooh, you know what else is really good? Nutritional yeast, a little bit of vegan butter and nutritional yeast on this. Mm, makes me so happy. What? Oh my gosh, I love this stuff, Bourneville. Dark chocolate, I'm, I'm gonna try the orange one, which I've not tried yet, and this dark chocolate, it is like one of my favorite. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. Oh, Iceland, you have so many good vegan options out there. Thank you so much. So, I hope you all enjoyed that Iceland vegan food haul. Oh my gosh, it is so exciting, all the great food they have, and also everything they're doing for the environment. So I think it's definitely a company so worth supporting. Also, all their stuff is so affordable. I was getting, like, those veggies, those frozen veggies were like a pound each. Their vegan selection kind of ranges from two pounds to 350, so it's super affordable. Anyway, I'm like falling in love with this company, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Just Vegan In.